Hello and welcome to the Performer Suite training. The installation of the Performer Suite is quite simple, however, there are some points that should be considered in advance. The contents of this and the next lesson are primarily interesting for the administrator, but it can't hurt if all other Performer Suite users understand how the Performer Suite works in general. In this lesson, we will talk about the following topics. What are the deployment options? What steps are necessary during installation? And how do I install updates? So let's first talk about the general architecture of the Performer Suite. As mentioned in the first lesson, the Performer Suite is a desktop application and can be installed on your local computer or on a virtual machine. The Performer Suite has its own database where things like settings, comments, users, as well as the system parameters from the license are stored. The Performer Suite uses interfaces provided by Theobald, ARP Connect in this case, to connect with SAP BW and S4 system and other SAP APIs like the SAC Tenant API or SQL Connect for HANA to access the SAP metadata in the systems. The head data um, of the metadata, so the technical name, the IDs, descriptions, change date and so on, is written to the database. The SAP objects of all synchronized systems can therefore be browsed offline directly in the Performer Suite itself. When an object needs to be documented or analyzed, we connect to the system, get all the relevant information about the object and present it in the form of a documentation or an analysis result. In BW and S4, RFC-capable function modules are used for this purpose. In HANA, um, SQL statements are executed on a HANA database by SQL connection and in SAC, BO and also for Datasphere we get the insights about the objects through the API. Okay, so next I would like to talk about the different deployment types. There are several ways to install and provide the Performer Suite, from a simple local installation up to a central Citrix installation for 100 users. The decision on this depends mainly on scaling and collaboration capabilities. I would like to briefly discuss some deployment types. So first we have the central deployment. Here Performer Suite is installed on a virtual machine and accesses a central SQL or Oracle database. The advantages are clear, so collaboration is simplified as entered and created information and data is shared and settings and configurations only need to be set once. And the experience has shown us that the performance with a SQL database is very good when the two servers are geographically close. Updates also only need to be installed once and does not have to be rolled out complicated on several computers. Let's move on to the local deployment. In the testing phase, we recommend this deployment. This type of deployment is especially useful during the test phase or when bug fixes are to be tested. The installation does not require much effort, no SQL database needs to be requested, and in some cases, the local devices are even faster than a central virtual server. This deployment type with a SQLite database is useful when only a few users use the Performer Suite and um, data sharing is irrelevant. So no comments are made, for example, which are relevant for more than one colleague. Okay, so the summary is that as with all applications based on SQLite, the benefits um, of SQLite's focus on cost, effectiveness, efficiency, reliability, independency and simplicity. The central SQL or Oracle server is the right choice if the point's scalability, performance, data security, centralized management and centralization is important for you. In addition to these two deployment types, there are also some hybrid deployments such as local clients accessing um, a central database or a central server on which a Performer Suite instance is installed that is based on SQLite. So if you haven't installed the tool yet or if you're unhappy with the current deployment, you should discuss this with in your team and um, consider which of the benefits presented are important to you. 
Okay, so next let's look at the installation itself. Your administrator will receive the setup via an email or via the Blue Intelligence portal. So here your administrator um, gets information about the licenses, about the contract, about um, general know-how topics like some guides and so on. And it is also possible to download the software. So here you can simply click here on the current, on the latest setup of the Performer Suite and download the setup. So let's start the downloaded setup. First, you have to select a directory. So here I will choose this training folder and then I click on next. And here you can now select um, which tool should be installed. So of course, we, this training is about Performer Suite, so we will install the Performer Suite. But the automation tool is also important and we will talk about this tool um, in the next chapter when, when um, the synchronization is the topic. So I will click on next and then the setup install the Performer Suite in the selected directory. Okay, that's it, so I can click on Finish. And next, the Configuration Wizard opens, in which some things can be set. So let's have a look at the configuration process. All right, so first we can click on Next, and here we can select the database type. So if I select SQLite, for example, then um, um, the SQLite database will be created in the inserted directory. So a new folder will be created databases and there you will find the SQLite database. If you select SQL Server or Oracle, then you have to insert some um, server and database parameters. So here the server name, um, the database of the SQL database name, the username and the password. Um, you can find more information in our online user manual. And then the, artic the article explains exactly how the SQL and Oracle database is created and what the technical requirements are. So here you can um, read this if you need the information how to create the database and also things like um, or some technical requirements like which size and growth of the database can be accepted and so on. So this could be interesting. SQL Server Setup and Oracle Server Setup. Here you can find all the relevant information. Okay, so I will go with SQLite and click on Next. So now the SQLite database will be created in this case. And then we can continue the installation process, the configuration process. So let's click on Next. So then I can insert the license. So we will also provide a license to you where all the parameters are um, inserted of your systems. So let me just select my... I selected the license and now I click on Next. And as you can see here, you can find all the licensed systems. So in my case, um, you see that the products Docu Performer System Scout are licensed. You can see all the licensed systems. So here in BW for HANA system, I have also here in BW on HANA system. And here you can find also the um, HANA system and so on. Here I get some information about the li license. I can click on Next. And here I can integrate a logo. So let's select a nice logo. Okay, here we go. Then I can click on next. And now we have to um, insert, or now we have to create the admin user. So it's really important that you um, create such an administration user during the configuration process um, because this administration user cannot be deleted afterwards. So the reason is that um, you always have one user who is able to to do the log on and to create other users and do the user management stuff. So I will create a new user, admin at blue intelligence. Then you have to insert a password. And you can also add some things like the full name, the department, and you can also send the summary summary via email. It makes also sense. So I will click on next. And now you can maintain the system levels. So you can you can tell the performer suite which system levels are available in your case in your case. So is this enough development quality assurance productive and sandbox? If not, you can also add multiple levels um, to the performer suite. And then you can click next and now you can assign those levels, so the 
um, predefined levels and also your custom levels to your system. So I can say my A4H system is the development system, BRI2 is the productive system, for example, and you can see that also this new level, which I created, is also available here. So then I click on Next. Then I can add some descriptions. So I can say this is my Devel, my dev system, for example, and so on. So these descriptions will then be visible in the performer suite in the system selection window. I will click on next. And here I can create so-called function modules. And I will talk about the function modules um, in the next lesson when we talk about the configuration topics and all the things you need to install and configure in order to be able to connect to the systems. Um, one last hint, some of the configurations shown here can also be set in the performer suite itself. So we will look at these things in detail. Okay, so I will click now on finish and as you can see the performer suite now opens and we can log in with the admin user which we created and we of course we have to insert the password and we can select if we want to use an English UI um, language or a German UI language then I can click on log in. Um, here I can um, here I can decide if I want to provide some um, data to Blutelligence. So we use this data in order to improve our tools. So we don't collect personal data. It's only about crash and bug report. And you can also switch the setting off if you don't want to help us. Okay, so here you can then select the product which you want to start. So I can click on DocuPerformer and that, that's it. So the installation process is done. Um, this ends the live demo, so let's go back to the presentation. Finally, I would like to talk about updates. There are two or three major releases of the Performer Suite per year. So our customers with a maintenance contract are informed via email and you can download the, um, the new version um, via the Bluetelligence portal. Let's talk about the update process. So you can run the setup and select the installation folder of the installed Performer Suite version. It is really important that you make a backup of the database before you start the update process um, in order to avoid data loss in case of update problems. In case of a decentralized installation, the procedure must be repeated for each Performer Suite instance. Okay, so let's summarize this lesson. There are many deployment types. If the collaborative aspect matters, then we recommend at least a central SQL database. During installation, the target folder is selected and many aspects of the configuration, like the database type, the system connection, the function modules, can be done. Um, you also saw the databases are SQLite databases or central SQL or Oracle databases, and I also talked about the advantages and disadvantages of those database types. For updates, the installation folder must be selected and the wizard must be followed. On this last slide, you can see some other exciting articles that might interest your administrator. All right, that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next lesson when we talk about the Performer Suite configuration options. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.